friends, today is the marine physical fitness test. So a few weeks ago, I did the army physical fitness test. I said, if we hit 15,000 likes, then I will do the marine one. Well, like that, I knew I was gonna do the marine one and I actually tested it. I was like, okay, well, I know I'm gonna do it. Let's just, let's test the waters out. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I was a long way off. So I kind of, I set myself a goal, you know, cause I was like, I need a goal in life. I kind of, I train, but sometimes I don't know what I'm training for. So I just needed a goal. So for the last four weeks, I've been training to get a perfect score. Now, I haven't actually got a perfect score in any of the events because I was always holding a little bit back because I knew that I would be training the next day. So I didn't want to overtrain, but I've given myself four days rest. So hopefully, hopefully, that all work and I've been doing some stretching. Mario's helped do me with some massage, so you know. I've also read through every single guideline and regulation of the marine physical fitness test. These are official documents, people. So yeah, if you guys wanna have a look, I've also linked it in the description box. And yeah, I don't wanna cut any corners. I wanna get this fair and square. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. If you guys have been here before, welcome. I'm gonna give you all a big hug for supporting me. Thank you so much. And oh, also, if I hit 15,000 likes here, then I was thinking of doing the Navy SEALs drown proof test. Or if you guys have other challenges or tests, then let me know in the comment section. Give me a like if you just wanna see a next test and we'll take it from there. I'm ready, I'm nervous, I'm hyped, all of the feelings, so let's go. This is the first event, so it's dead hang pull up. So I have to be fully extended when I'm like at the bottom of the bar, and then when I come up, my chin has to come over the bar. The minimum score for my age group for women to pass is three. The perfect score is 10. Now you can do underhand. 11. Oh yeah. You know that. Yeah. You can either do it underhand or overhand. Underhand, I would call it a chin up, and I think it's a little bit easier, so I really, really wanted to challenge myself for this. I'm gonna do a full pull-ups. I set that as my goal. That's what I've been training for. I wanna to stick to it, and we'll just see how many I can get out. This one, out of all of the events, is the one I'm most nervous about because it's the one where I know, personally, that I have the least strength in. Today is day one of me practicing for the Marine Physical Fitness Test. I'm gonna be doing pull-ups, and I've dabbled in pull-ups before. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Go on. Go on. I really thought I could get six. I've worked really hard for it. Let's just see how it goes. I've got tape on there. Um, obviously that's permitted and we've measured the width of the bar as well, so it's all good. We followed these rules to a T, baby. This is actually the step I use um, to reach the top drawer in my kitchen, so yeah. Who knew it would be handy for a pull-up test? Are you happy? <laughs> no crying. Come on, you're a marine. Yeah, yeah, it's true. No crying for marines. Okay, that's my PB, guys. That's my PB. You were so shaky on that 11th one. <laughs> Just pure. <laughs> I was like this. Like, in my head, I was like, please, please. I've done that before in practice where I get to that halfway point on the 11th and I'm, I just stay there. Thing is, I can hold that, that shakiness for like ages, <laughs> but I got it now, so. That's the only time it counts. Man, that's the only time it counts. I'm so proud of myself. 
Okay, let's do these sit-ups. The next test is abdominal crunches. So this is a timed event. I've got to do it in two minutes. The minimum score to pass is 55 and the maximum is 105. So they're a little bit different to sit-ups. With crunches, my arms are gonna be across my chest the whole time. They're not allowed to leave my chest. And then as you crunch your arms, touch your legs. So it's not a full sit-up rep, it's crunches, which is why we've got to do a little bit more. And it tests abdominal abdominal endurance and also it tests my hay fever endurance so to reset you need to come back down and make sure your shoulder blades touch the ground now shoulder blades is not the same as the back of your shoulder it's actually my shoulder blade so if you see a small gap because my shoulder is actually off the ground that's okay because my shoulder blades are touching the ground so i'm just keeping it super strict on exactly what the specification is so let's try and get 105 and wish me luck sit-ups that you have to do in the army physical fitness test I definitely feel like they're more endurance based doing the crunches because actually in the army physical fitness test when you're doing the sit-up at the top of the sit-up it's like a mini rest because you've passed that point your chest is hitting your legs here your arms are in the way so actually you're still engaged in your muscles so it doesn't feel like a mini break but yeah it's good the last event is the three mile run which is about 4.8 something something kilometers and I need to be doing it to get a maximum score in 21 minutes so that's seven minutes a mile and just to pass I need 30 minutes and 50 seconds so it's weird because every time I do one of these events lane one and two is knocked out so it just you know challenges us mathematically in lane three it works out as 11 laps and 0.6 something but I'm just gonna do 11 laps and three quarters because that's just easy, we have to worry about that so much. And I will have some people running alongside me. I start at the 300 meter mark and then, you know, there's no, there's no questions, there's no doubts. I've definitely cleared three miles. So I'm gonna start at the 300 meter mark and then I'm gonna finish at the finish line because I just feel like that's more motivating for me when I can finish at the finish line. So we've done the maths now and this is probably the one I'm second most nervous about. When I started, I was doing three miles in like 24 something, and I knew I had a lot of work to put in. <sighs> okay, so I just finished like my third run this week, um, and I did 4.55 kilometers in 24 minutes 53, which is really far off the pace. 
So I've got a lot of work to do. I've got some sprints to put in there, clearly, and yeah, I'm quite far off, you guys. It's actually funny because doing this exact same distance a few years ago when I did a lot of running would have been so much easier. I used to get it in sub 18 minutes, but I was a lot weaker. I had a lot less muscle mass and my goals were different. I wanted to challenge myself to get faster again um, with a lot more muscle on and feeling like a little bit stronger. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good job. You're moving quick. Keep going, Tash. Keep going, Tash. That's amazing. You're doing so well. Good work, good work, keep going. Last lap, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's finish this. Thirty seconds, let's go. Let's go. Done. You don't know if you passed? I got bad news. Oh, oh go on. 20 minutes 39. Oh, no! Yes. yes! Did you not know your time? No, because my watch is being silly. I got confused where the stop and start was. <laughs> you need to run with it more often. Oh, oh my god, it is a hot day to run that. I'm so happy. Oh my god, I need to sit down. That's your time. Have a look at it. Oh, I haven't hit those times since I was, since I was a runner, basically. It's <coughs> the hay fever coming through. I'm going to sneeze again. That's the official time, which means I got a perfect score in all of the events. And I'm super happy with it. it. Took me like a few weeks to train for it, but just shows that if you really stick to something, you have a goal and you're really like diligent and you're committed, you can really achieve anything because I tell you I was quite far off when I started training for it and I'm just happy I set myself the goal so thank you and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did make sure to give me a big thumbs up remember got another challenge on the way if we hit that 15k likes make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and I will see you guys next time bye you happy are you happy